Welcome, I'm Joe Boardman, President and CEO of Amtrak. In honor of the 25th anniversary of the grand reopening of Washington Union Station, Amtrak, Union Station Redevelopment Corporation, Ackridge, and the Federal City Council are pleased to present this video showcasing the past, present, and future of the station. This collaborative rehabilitation project provided Amtrak with a home for its national corporate headquarters, served as the catalyst for neighborhood redevelopment, and helped spark a renaissance of passenger rail service. Since the station's reopening, Amtrak ridership in Washington has more than doubled and we continue to see record growth. I'm particularly excited to participate in this celebration because it showcases this growing popularity of rail travel in the United States, as well as Amtrak's efforts to make DC one of the premier transportation hubs in the nation. We appreciate your support as we work together to bring the master plan to life. Hi, I'm Ken Sparks, formerly Executive Vice President of the Federal City Council. The saga of Union Station's redevelopment in the 1980s really begins with the diminishing train traffic of the 50s and 60s and 70s. By the 1970s, there was a interest on the part of the railroads in selling off those major buildings, which were a huge cost and a huge expense for them. People at the White House and around the community, including Charles Horsky, who was counselor to both President Kennedy and President Johnson for District of Columbia Affairs, wanted to try something new. They thought that perhaps a visitor center at Union Station would be a way of saving the building. The National Park Service was charged with creating the National Visitor Center, and it was a difficult assignment with cost overruns and many other problems. This visitor center opened with red carpets and all for the inauguration of President Carter in January of 1977. So in the spring of 1977, I got a call from my personal deep throat uh, saying that when the Park Service had done the repairs for the inaugural, they had neglected to fix the roof. The place was now going to have to have major work done to save it as rain had made the building unsafe. It turned out that my deep throat was none other than the architect and engineer for the Federal Railway Administration. By the late 1970s, everyone was interested in the idea of adding retail to historic places. So I went to Ed Hoffman, who was the chairman of Woodward and Lothrop and asked for help in getting the Rouse Company to come down from Columbia, Maryland and provide an appraisal of whether this idea would work at Union Station. Their executive vice president came down, walked the halls of Congress with me for two solid days while we talked to key members of the House and Senate. Almost immediately, legislation was passed in 1981, the Union Station Redevelopment Act which authorized the Department of Transportation to study how we might save the station. The idea was to have a partnership between the federal government, the private sector, and the local government that would save the building and maintain it without additional federal expense. The idea was that we would redo the station manage it through a nonprofit entity on which all five parties were represented. Profits from the enterprise would allow the station's mortgage to be paid off and would provide the funds for the maintenance of the building. And so the station opened to rave reviews and numerous awards in 1988. Hi, I'm Tony Williams, CEO of the Federal City Council, and today Union Station is really embodying and realizing the dream of its original founders at the turn of the last century to make it a hub of our city, culturally, artistically, and from a transportation economic viewpoint. Certainly with the addition and the expansion of commuter rail in addition to Amtrak, we've seen MARC trains, VRE trains, really uh, provide commuter rail 
is uh, just another example of a multimodal transportation network centered right on Union Station, which also includes a new platform for buses uh, to allow commuters of all different incomes from all different areas uh, one transportation hub uh, to solve their commuting, their recreation, and their other transportation needs. Columbus Plaza has been completely revitalized, accommodating not only taxis, but really achieving the vision of Pierre L'Enfant that our circles would celebrate our union and the economic vibrance of our country. Bicycle facilities, recognizing that a sustainable city and a great economic city is also a city that's friendly to all modes of transportation, including a healthy and robust bicycling network. With the enhanced retail in Union Station, we're really seeing a dramatic example of a station, a rail station, a multimodal station, uh, really serving as a center for transit-oriented development. And by development, in this case, we mean dining options, retail options, private event options, all in one place, all in one great hub, all in Union Station. For these reasons, because it's a transportation, economic, and social hub in our city, the Federal City Council was pleased to celebrate this 25th anniversary of the regeneration of Union Station. I'm Matt Klein, President of Ackridge. Union Station is poised to become one of the most important and successful multimodal transportation centers in the U.S. In order to provide greater focus on the long-term challenges and the opportunities facing Union Station, a coalition of partners will collaborate to preserve the history of Union Station while modernizing the transportation facilities, creating better connections for the community, and capturing the commercial development potential. Union Station has been a valuable asset to the Washington region for more than a century. USRC, Amtrak, F the Federal City Council, and other stakeholders will be guiding Union Station as it evolves to meet the demands and opportunities of the next century. Hello, I am Beverly Swain Staley, President and CEO of Union Station Redevelopment Corporation. Thank you for sharing this significant anniversary with us today. This video has been a partnership among Amtrak, Ackridge, Federal City Council, and USRC, along with our partner, USI. I am grateful to all those who participated in this effort. We have accomplished much together in the past, and I'm looking forward to what we're going to accomplish in the future.